Welcome back to another episode of Sports with Dawn. And today, you know, we, we got Lumko's idol. We're going to talk about Lumko's idol. But the topic is, can this player ever win the Ballon d'Or? Um, currently, he's 29, plays for Paris Saint-Germain, all the way in the French League. You already know who I'm going to talk about, Neymar. Um, you know, the last Brazilian to win the Ballon d'Or was Kaka. You know, before the, the Messi and, and Ronaldo dominance, you know, Kaka was the last player. Obviously, not counting Modric, because Modric was, like, very recent. But the last Brazilian player to win the Ballon d'Or was Kaka. And, you know, since then, Neymar has surfaced and a lot of teams were after him. You know, every single big team in the world was after him. And he signed for Barcelona and, you know, he had great season at Barcelona. Winning the Champions League, winning the league, winning the, you know, the domestic cups, you know. But... For some reason, he just never got above Messi or Ronaldo, you know, to like dethrone them from winning the Ballon d'Or. And man, has has he been one of those players who fell victim to 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 Messi and Ronaldo's dominance? But before you answer that, bro, obviously, you know, I'm not alone. I'm with my bro, the superstar, LM10, you know, and we talk about his idol, like I already said. So. Lumka bro, how are you? How have you been since our last episode? And of course, the question, has your idol, idolo lako boy, has your idol been a victim of Neymar, I mean, of Messi and Ronaldo's dominance? Yeah, what's up, bro? Uh, I'm good. Uh, it's, it's good to be back for another episode, you know, feeding the people that much needed content. <laughs> so yeah, it's good to be back. Uh, I'm doing okay. Hope you're good too. Now, yeah, let's get to it. You know, this this episode for me, I'm excited because personally, we are talking about my idol, Neymar Jr. You know, I think that goes for a lot of people. You know, a lot of youngsters out there, I think a lot of kids look up to Neymar and say, um, one day I want to be like Neymar because his style of play is, is very attractive. You know, he... He plays football the right way, you understand? And you may ask yourself, what is the right way to play football? It's when you walk into the pitch and the kid inside you doesn't die, you understand? Because as you grow up, you you get to meet a lot of coaches that tell you you should play a specific way, you should play like this, you should play like that. But Neymar hasn't, ha- hasn't let that kid die, you know? He's still playing as if he's out on the streets with his friends. And that's very beautiful to watch, hence why... Um, most people look up to him including myself so the question we have today is can he still win the fallen door <laughs> ah, that's a tough one um when you look at his age he's 20 he's 29 now um this is his peak years in football from the ages of 27 to 31 peak years so you'd arguably say he has about two three years at the very very top where he can still go on to dominate but let's not forget what era we are living in um we are living in the cristiano ronaldo versus messi era you know messi versus ronaldo whatever way or whichever way you prefer to call it so i do think he's been a victim of that not just him a lot of a lot of world-class players have been overshadowed by cristiano and messi for the past decade because poof, <laughs> Those two guys have just been pulling up ridiculous numbers, season in, season out, you know. They've been doing it consistently for the longest of time, and a lot of players have failed to cope with that. And a lot of players, if you had to minus Ronaldo and Messi out of the equation, would have surely deserved the ball. And though, you know, such players come to mind like Ribéry, um, Xavi, Iniesta... You know the whole lot they 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 really did deserve one ball into at least but because we're living in such an era where we had to witness two greats going toe to toe every year it's very hard for for anyone to come and dominate but for neymar talent wise you could argue that he's right up there if not even better than those two guys talent wise i don't want people to misquote me we're talking about pure talent He's very talented, you know, he was tipped to take over the world at a very young age, like he said. Um, in Brazil, he's known as the Prince of Brazilian Football because there's only one king in Brazil, and that's Pele. 
no one is ever gonna you know take that away from him so yeah the second uh all-time goal scorer behind the legendary Pele I think in terms of talent he does deserve one in terms of talent but when you look at everything else um it's it's not likely that he might end up getting one it's not likely i'm not saying he won't a lot of factors have to do with that one is his team currently psg you know they play in france which is not the most uh competitive league out there not a lot of people watch the french league we only get um to get a glimpse of neymar if it's the champions league and then we can make our comments on how good he is or how bad of a season is having otherwise we're just fed stats because no one really follows the french league so i don't think the league that he plays in allows him to really stake a claim and say i am the best player in the world so i do hope eventually he does end up getting one but yes to answer that very important question i think he has been a victim of the ronaldo and messi rivalry just like a lot of other great players like you've mentioned, you know, you're Andre Iniesta, you know, you're Wesley Schneider, you're Robin, you're Ribery, man. You know, they've fallen victim to to these two players' dominance and Neymar is one of those those players who just fell, you know, to to, to that victim line. Um, but you also mentioned something about the transfer to PSG, you know, that came with a lot of negativity, man. It came with a lot of people asking themselves, why would Neymar move away from such a competitive league going all the way to the french league which is not as competitive and if there's one thing we can never doubt about neymar is his talent this guy is very talented you know he's one of the best players in the world um but recently we've seen the rise of youngsters coming up your joe felix your Mbappes, your harlands you know maybe one could even say phil foden you know and obviously messi ronaldo are still very much competitive and not forgetting last season's best player you know Robert Lewandowski <laughs> as Thomas Muller would call him you know and listen man as much as people like Neymar and his work ethic sometimes you kind of wonder if he would ever get within touching distance of the Ballon d'Or and you as someone who admires this player just looking at everything and how he's performing in his league how he's performing in the Champions League is there any chance of Neymar ever winning the Ballon d'Or? Uh, firstly, ish, him signing the, the contract extension was, was a shock to most people because there were widespread rumors that he could go back to Barcelona. Messi was welcoming him back. He was hoping he would come back with open arms. You know, the whole, the whole world was happy that um, Neymar might go back to Barcelona because it was an, an open secret that he might go back. But then he signed until 2025, so it means he's staying in PSG um like you rightfully said now we have youngsters coming through mbappe holland um to name a few one can even argue and say phil foden um you know and to think we are still in the era of messi and ronaldo because those two guys are still at it and of course like you said robert Lewandowski, who is breaking records week in and out in germany um we still have top 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 players still playing messi ronaldo and then we have a top player who's finding form, which is Lewandowski. And last year, a lot of people, including myself, rightfully believed that Lewandowski deserved to win the Ballon d'Or, but he unfortunately didn't because French football decided to cancel the award due to the pandemic. So, given his age and the time, I hope, I hope he has, he gets one opportunity to shine because if he can, for example, lead PSG to the Champions League. And if he can win a major trophy in Brazil, be it the Copa America or the World Cup, then he has a strong case, you know, then he has, the, he has a strong case, but he has to play the leading role. So I feel he does have one more chance to try and win it, but it's going to be extremely difficult now because the youngsters are coming through, bro, and Messi and Ronaldo are not showing any signs of slowing down. And of course, Lewandowski is in the conversation now, so um i hope he doesn't end up like one of those guys that had all the potential to win it but unfortunately didn't end up winning it personally to answer the question i posed to you um i think neymar probably has one more chance and i think it's this upcoming season because there's going to be a lot of transfers going around with Messi saga with ronaldo's also saga about possibly moving back to sports in lisbon 
I do think that Neymar does have a slight chance. But I think like you said, he would have to possibly win something with Brazil. And definitely, definitely win the UEFA Champions League with PSG, right? There is that slight chance. There is a slight chance. But let me put you on the spot right now. Just taking, you know, just going a bit away from Neymar. With these youngsters that we've mentioned and possibly more. Which one of these youngsters do you think is going to dominate in the next upcoming like decade or so? Who do you think might just dominate the Ballon d'Or? <laughs> Out of these youngsters, if we're being honest, if we're being honest, I feel like I can also dominate the Ballon d'Or, man. I feel like <laughs> given the right opportunity and the right stage, um, I feel like, yeah, I can dominate the Ballon d'Or. I myself, I'm going to put myself on the spot. But hey, that's not about me. It's about those youngsters. Um, I think uh, we're going to see um, Bappe versus Holland for a long time, given the right age, because I think they're a year apart, if I'm not mistaken, or two years apart, which is good. Uh, so it's going to be between Bappe and Holland because they're also pulling ridiculous numbers. And the, the blueprint that was left or is being left by Messi and Ronaldo is you have to pull ridiculous numbers to even get a shot nowadays. So I do see people like Holland. Um, but they're dominating for the next five, six years to come, you know. There might be some other challenges because we have a lot of talented youngsters coming through, myself included. <laughs> we have a lot of talented youngsters coming through, like I said, Phil Foden, for example, uh, you know, some Barca youngsters as well. So we, we're going to see. But the two front runners at the moment to take over from Messi and Ronaldo are undoubtedly Holland and Mbappe, undoubtedly. Oh, yes, and myself. But again, it's not about me. So, yeah, I think those two guys have, um, at this point in time, have a better chance of winning it than me. But, yeah, <laughs> we'll see. But, yeah, definitely Mbappe and Haaland. Definitely Mbappe and Haaland. I see them dominating. I definitely agree. Between, between Mbappe and Haaland, man, we've already seen the PR spin behind these players already. Um, but I'll throw in a, a name that a lot of people are not mentioning him now, maybe because he's having a hard time in Spain, which is Jao Felix, you know. I think if, if you know, he can get things right on his side or possibly move to a team that could benefit his style, he might be a problem, you know. Um, but I definitely agree with Mbappe and Haaland, especially because now everything is all, all, all stats and they have stats with them you know Haaland is breaking records left right and center and he's doesn't seem like he's gonna stop scoring anytime soon Mbappe on the other side has won the 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 World Cup already so there's only great things that could happen um but to close it off it's kind of sad that there have been so many players who've fallen victim to the Messi and Ronaldo dominance but we cannot blame them because these players are competitive They've been competitive, you know, they've played alongside the best players in the world. You look at Messi, play alongside Samuel Eto, played alongside Deco, play alongside Ronaldinho. Look at Cristiano Ronaldo, you know, who's, play against, who's played with Sergio Ramos, you know, Modric, Ozil at his peak, you know, Di Maria at his peak. So how can these players not dominate when they have great players supporting them? Uh, but it's just sad that there are so many victims, your Neymars, your Iniestas, your Wesley Snyders, who have fallen victim. To this guy's dominance but you know what football is what it is that's why we love it some players are just gonna be you know the best players but not able <laughs> to get to the pinnacle you know i think we've all seen here in the pso we've been like yo why didn't this player get to that point but because there's another player who's just dominating in that season but you know what name bro you probably have one more chance one more just waiting in the ballot door just once just so that my homie Lunko can be like, yeah. <laughs> but you know what, guys? We done for the day. Shout out to everybody who's been watching our, you know, our, our videos. Appreciate you guys reaching this point. Don't forget to subscribe. I think it's this side. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on that bell, notification bell. You know what? Shout out to you. We out.